So in this video, I'm going to be going over the four simple uh, rules of integration. And the first one we have here is the constant rule. And basically says if you have a constant multiplied by a function, the integral of that entire entity equals, you can pull out the constant in front of the integral, and you can just take the integral of the function itself. So it looks something like this. Integral of c f of x dx equals c times the integral of f of x dx. So for example, this would be like, we want to find the integral of 3x. In this case, the constant is 3, so we can pull out the 3 and just take the integral with respect to x dx. And remember, a constant is, in this case, when we're working with one integral, it's most likely a number like 2 or 3 or 4. So the next rule is the power rule, and that says we want to take the integral of a base x to raise to an n power, the integral of this equals x to the n plus 1 power all over this entire thing over n plus 1 plus c this is dx so plus c anytime you're taking uh, the integral without bounds you need to have a plus c because uh, if you remember the derivative of a constant is zero right so there could be any number here and the derivative of this would be equal to that. So anytime, remember when we're taking the integral without bounds, so without any numbers here or here, or indefinite intervals, we need a plus c constant. But overall, the power rule states that the integral of x to the n dx equals x to the n plus one over n plus one. For example, this means if you want to take the integral of x squared dx, this means x, remember n is equal to two, right? So x to the 2 plus 1 all over the 2 plus 1. So this equals x cubed plus 3 plus c. Remember, you can't forget the plus c over there. So the next rule is the addition rule. and basically says if you want to take the integral of two functions, add it to each other. It's pretty easy. Like you can take the integral of each separate function and add them together. So this equals... The integral of f of x plus the integral of g of x. And the same way, if you want to take the integral of two functions that are subtracted by each other, the integral of this is just the integral of each of the two separately subtracted by each other. So the integral of, remember, their dx is here. I keep on forgetting that. The integral of f of x dx minus the integral of g of x dx. So there you go. Uh, those are the four rules. We have the constant rule, the power rule, the addition rule, and the subtraction rule. Thank you guys for watching, and please comment and subscribe below.